India shaped my mind and anchored my identity, influenced my beliefs and made me who I am. India matters to me and I would like to matter to India. I am having a wonderful September in India. This is such a delightful time for some exploration into Goa's unique activities. In this video, I will take you on a journey through three interesting and unique things to do in Goa, way beyond its beaches. I did have a mishap along the way which needed careful handling. I will be telling you about that mishap, so do stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about such mishaps and how to handle them. So without further ado, I will now tell you about the unique activities. For activity number one, I jumped into a taxi on a mid-September evening and headed to Ganesh Chaturi Festival. After the festival, I headed home in the taxi and had a good night's sleep. following day, I headed out again, back in the taxi, so that I could view the huge Ganesh statues in Kanakona town. Those statues are also worshipped during this festival period. I got my blessing so at the makeshift 
Ganesha Temple. That was just amazing, wasn't it? So I'm actually just at the fruit and veg because it's quieter to vlog here. So um, in terms of my life in India, I've been here for five years now on and off. And of course, like everybody else, I've had obstacles in my life. There have been times when I've not felt very wise. So I love the philosophy of the Ganesha God. It's just amazing isn't it um so yeah statues are just incredible here in town aren't they a few days after the ganesh festival the full-blown market was here in town a market visit is a unique thing to do because there is a major cultural depth to the indian fruit and veg markets that's because culinary practices incorporate all the local produce. In fact, there is a major culinary imagination in Indian cooking. The people conceptualize and imagine foods in all sorts of ways. And the relationship between food and religion is powerful. It's a major unifying factor in India. So as you can see, the market is the foundation of Indian tradition. <laughs> I'm going to buy these peppers. Yes, I'm Perfect. buying peppers, buying peppers. Thank you. Oh, no, no, I'm taking them. I'm taking them. I'm buying them. Yeah, I'm buying them. I'm going to cook them for me, for me. So I was charged 40 rupees each for those peppers, 40 each, 80 rupees, my goodness. And now the cow has come to eat the stock, oh dear. Get charged a lot of money, maybe that's why I get charged a lot, because there's not much stock left, because the cow's eating it all. <laughs> Namaste, Alu, Alu Lina. Alu, huh? 40 rupees one kilo. 40 rupees a kilo, that is so cheap, my god, compared to my peppers. I'm sure I was taken for a ride with the peppers. Yeah, so I'll just put them in there. Rupees? Yeah, rupees. How much money? No, 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 I don't want 40, I only want two potatoes. 20 oh, 30. 20. 20 rupees, my god, 20 rupees. Um, yeah, yeah, that's reasonable. Super, I'll do that. Hildi, Hildi, ha? Hildi, um, Tora, Hildi, Lena. Tora, Tora. Ha, Tora, Tora. Sambaga, okay, not quite understanding. <laughs> How many grams? One gram. One um, gram. You show me, you show me what you can give me. 50 rupees, 5 zero. <laughs> Yeah, you show me how much you can give me for 50 rupees. 50 rupees worth of turmeric powder I'm going to buy. He's just weighing that out. Yes, that's a reasonable amount. Another reasonable buy from the market, the turmeric. Very, very good for inflammation is the turmeric. I'll just pay the guy. Exploring the culinary foundations of Indian culture here at the market, it was time for me to explore the depth of the culinary arts. So I went to Fatima's restaurant to discover such culinary imaginations in India.
sorry. They have actually got an incredible chef here, as you've probably already seen. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy when I get through all that food. My goodness me. I think I'll be asleep after this. The main thing is, is the eating part. So, literally, I'm just going to... I love these katoris. Aren't these katoris amazing? Happy? We can come from that amazing fire. So basically, it's just getting the bread, yeah. and I've just dipped it in there in the curry, okay. and then the eating. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect flavours. Now this type of food, it's like you're actually eating in somebody's own home. It's a traditional dish and they've really cooked it traditionally and it does, it just tastes amazing. So if you're going to ask me, would I highly recommend that you eat at Fatima's? Yes, of course. Of course I would. Turn it, turn it down, turn it Okay, cameraman is by me. Here's the cameraman. <laughs> He's done all that lovely filming for me. How nice to see. Tell everyone your name. Yes. Everyone name? What's your, your name? My name is Sanju. Sanju. Sanju yeah. did the filming. Yes. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Um, I hope you very much enjoyed Goa Beyond Beaches. There were so many great and usual things there. Uh, one thing about India is they have the most amazing fruit and veg markets, don't they? That was fun. That shopping was fun. And from the cooking at Fatima's and of course the Ganesha. Oh, that was amazing, that festival. So yes, as promised, I will tell you about a little incident that happened. So what happened was, is when I arrived at night at the Ganesha festival, the taxi driver told me that he can't take me home. He'll have to get another taxi driver to take me home because he's got an airport run. So the other taxi driver came came um, whilst the current one was there but his taxi wasn't marked and he said he's my friend and I thought oh well, I'm just going with a random guy you know it's just his friend um, so I was actually really uneasy about the situation and the taxi driver that I usually have hardly talks at all hardly communicates it's so hard so um, I decided to ring my host to tell her of the situation that this guy's turned up to take me home but his taxi isn't marked but she explained it really well because what it is is uh, she spoke to the current taxi driver and he explained to her that it's the friend but he hasn't got his taxi at the moment so he's come in his usual car he's just helping out he can't do the airport run um, the new taxi driver because um, he hasn't got the uh, airport license. So he will attend to me and see to me um, the one whose car wasn't marked. So because the host said it's fine to go in and of course it's a brilliant homestay where I am, um, I used um, 
the other taxi, although it wasn't marked. But what um, the message in this is always check things. So if somebody says, well, my friend will take you here, there and everywhere, they're a qualified taxi driver, but they turn up in a taxi or a car that isn't marked, then yeah, it perhaps can be a bit of an issue. But do always ring your homestay again it's very good to get a good homestay and again just comment below if you want advice about good homestays i've said that in the previous vlog i can always give you the advice so i think i'll end the vlog here um, i hope you enjoyed goa beyond its beaches and usual things to do in goa so thank you all very much for watching i'd be ever so grateful if you gave the video a thumbs up it really really helps the youtube algorithm so that'll be great and please share the video with one friend and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching namaste and bye for now